Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you uh, my two peacocks, Indigo and Gemini, doing some updates on them. This is Gemini here with me right now. And then hopefully Indigo will join us soon. He's all the way over there. I did an introduction video on these two a while back um, when I first got them, and that was like in July, I think. So I will link that video down below. But don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you can see more bird videos. <laughs> Hey guys, before we get started with today's video, I just wanted to give you a quick reminder to subscribe to Bird Talk Magazine. This is a really cool magazine for bird lovers, so if you are a bird nerd, be sure to subscribe to them. You can either subscribe to get the digital copy or you can actually subscribe to get the uh, print copy. And it just has so much amazing stuff, all types of stuff about birds, different types of birds. Uh, there's a lot about parrots, but of course there is also stuff about other types of birds, such as my yard bird articles. I write articles under the column yard bird, and so it's all about uh, chickens and ducks and just laying hens in general, and has a lot of really good information on how to take care of your flock and things like that. So there's a lot of information that you can get from this magazine and it's not just um, one type of bird. It's a lot of different types of birds that they talk about in here. It has a lot of really good information. See here's an article about mites and birds, making sure you can keep your birds mite free and information on feeding your birds. There will be a link down below in the description of the video so that you can get 10% off of your subscription. So I am going to be showing a lot of clips as well uh, of these guys. Uh, a lot of clips that I took while I was raising them over the last several months. For those of you who don't follow me on Instagram so that you can see the amazing uh, difference in, in them growing. It's just they're so big now and they were so cute and tiny. Now in order to keep their attention, I have some super worms here for them today. So peacocks are actually called pea fowl. That is the collective name for all of them. When you're talking about males, it's peacocks and females are pea hens and babies are pea chicks. They're actually a pheasant and they are the largest flying bird in the world and they are the national bird of India, where they're originally from. Our peacocks are actually a freedom flock here on the farm. And so that means that they roam everywhere. We have a lot of land where they can uh, walk around and look for bugs and things like that. I do, however, provide them with food and water. Uh, during the summer though, like I said, they do walk around and find a lot of bugs. So that is um, the main part of their diet during the summer. During the winter, I provide pretty much their entire diet. But other than providing them with food, they really pretty much do everything else themselves. They breed and raise their chicks by themselves. At night, they roost very high up in the trees, or if they have chicks, they'll find somewhere on the farm to hide. And they make some beautiful noises, but they can actually be pretty loud. And so last summer, I found two chicks that had been abandoned or uh, got away from their flocks. And so I actually ended up hand raising those two chicks, uh, which did turn out to be two males. So Indigo and Gemini are peacocks. And due to that, um, I have two peacocks that are extremely friendly. Uh, they love human interaction. They're just super tame from having been raised by me. And so the rest of the flock is for admiring from a distance, but these guys, as you can see, really are tame. <laughs> So there are a few things I want to bring up from my first video all those months ago that I um, briefly talked about before. And that was that I was worried that Indigo might have health problems uh, that were invisible because he had been rejected from his flock. And uh, that turned out to uh, not be the case, uh, which is really good. Indigo is super healthy. Everything's fine with them with him. I was also worried about the fact that he would hang his wings so low. Um, but uh, that's been normal too. His wings and flight feathers and everything are just fine. The other thing that I mentioned is that it's normal for pea chicks to fall from a distance. Uh, and some people took that as that peacocks roost um, in the trees and therefore have their nests in the trees. And that's not true. I wanna clarify that. The peafowl do not nest in trees. Um, they do, however, nest in things that are high. For example, they'll nest up in the hay. Um, we have a bigger barn than this uh, somewhere else where they sometimes roost and nest. They'll also nest on top of the roof and things like that and just different places where 
when the chicks do hatch, they actually do have to make a drop. Uh, they do have to fall from a distance. And just free ranging out on the farm, they do encounter places where there is a distance and they will fall. So I do want to clarify that, that height didn't just mean trees. Um, they don't nest in trees, but um, they still are able to um, fall from a distance. And when you look at a pea chick, uh, they actually have these huge wings already uh, from when they hatch. And so that helps them fall from these distances without being hurt. Indigo actually loves heights. In fact, he loves getting up on the roof. He's been learning how to get higher and higher into the trees. Uh, he does sometimes have trouble once he's up there and then doesn't know how to get down. But like I said, they are considered a flying bird, even if it's not, you know, huge distances. They're not gonna take off into the sky but they can fly and so it's not an issue that he goes high up into trees or places like that. And Gemini has a little bit of a harder time with heights and stuff like that. He has trouble balancing um, a little bit more than Indigo does. And Indigo's more of the troublemaker actually. Uh, if they wander too far, I know it's Indigo like that took Gemini and it's not like Gemini's idea. And sometimes they do wander a little bit too far off on the property. I like for them to stay closer to the house. I don't mind so much when they go out with the other peacocks and go out with them because the other peacocks, they know how to get around and they know when something's dangerous and when to try to run away. Indigo and Gemini don't. Uh, they don't understand things like that and so I don't like for them to wander off by themselves. And lately, this last like, I guess, couple of weeks, they've been getting a little bit too confident and they wander farther out by themselves. So I've been having to keep them caged more often than before, more often than I would like. Um, but like I had mentioned uh, last month is that we did lose our farm guardian. I did some videos about that and the horrific situation in regards to that. And so we do have to be careful with the animals and that's one of the reasons that these two cannot be wandering out so far. Now having raised these birds, it has definitely helped me learn so much more about them and understand them better. And one of the things I didn't realize before was how intelligent they are. Both Indigo and Gemini know their names and so that's just really amazing. Uh, having been raised by a human, by me, they are a lot different than the other peafowl. And so, for example, they uh, play more. Uh, they're just like more carefree. It's hard to describe, but basically um, they seem to just be more carefree than the other birds. And for example, sometimes they'll run around in circles for just no reason at all. Now, when they were smaller, they would jump up on my shoulders a lot. Uh, they'd constantly be jumping up there. And I wondered how that would be as they started getting older. But they actually stopped doing that, which I thought was interesting, but <laughs> uh, that they stopped doing it on their own, but probably for the best. And there are a few questions that I got from Instagram that I want to go ahead and answer for you guys um, about Gemini and Indigo. So the first one says, uh, when will he get his train? And so what they mean by that is the long feathers in the back that you know are the famous peacock eyes that everybody loves so much. So if they're boys, they will both get that, um, but it won't be till they're about three years old that they'll actually get those tail feathers. Uh, which the next one kind of has to do something with that and it says, how old are your peacocks and how old do they usually have to be to have all their adult feathers? Right now, Gemini and Indigo are about seven and a half months old. And to get all their adult feathers, well, technically they do kind of already have their adult feathers, really. Um, they are gonna be changing color though. And I think that's the difference is that they already, um, his tail feathers are a little short, but his tail feathers are coming in. He's got his wing feathers and just basically all his adult feathers, but his adult feathers will change as he matures. So. It's um, like I said about till they're three years old is when they're gonna start, you know, looking like um, the male peacocks that you're used to seeing. Uh, they don't start getting those feathers until they're about um, second summer. Uh, after that is when they start growing in. So they won't actually have the full thing until their third year. Next question is how many male peacocks do you have and do you have any white ones? Um, so I wanna say we probably have like maybe six or eight male peacocks um, with the freedom flock. It's sometimes hard to count everybody because not everybody's there all the time. Like they don't just come in for a count. Um, and then uh, 
with, and that's kind of counting these two, I think. Uh, do we have any white ones? No, we don't have any white ones. We have a male that has white uh, wing feathers and we have a white female, a solid white female, but no white male. Okay, and then the other question is from Allie2693, can they live with most other birds or only certain ones? I obviously mean free range birds. They grow up to be so beautiful. Thank you. Uh, okay, so actually for both um, being free range and being like in an aviary, uh, they can be with a lot of different birds. Um, however, I know some people have said that peacocks have killed their chickens or things like that. I've never experienced that. Uh, the peacocks have never killed the chickens here. They will attack a hawk if a hawk um, comes in and kills a chicken. But killing the birds that they live with, that's never been something I've experienced. Here on the farm, they live with chickens, guineas, ducks, uh, geese, or goose, a goose. <laughs> and um, yeah, stuff like that. So I know they can be with other pheasants. Um, I think in an aviary, you just need to have enough space for them. And then Kansas uh, asks, what do you feed them and nutritional stuff you give them to be healthy? Um, also, how do you keep them from flying away? I uh, love you and your animals. They're so educational and helpful. Thank you. Okay, so um, nutritionally, um, as chicks, they do eat a game bird starter that has a higher protein than a chick starter. Um, as adults, since I have a freedom flock, I feed them just scratch grains like um, for chickens because they get most of their nutrients um, free ranging and eating a lot of protein um, like bugs and stuff. Uh, they do also eat a lot of the hay, uh, alfalfa, stuff like that. And that's something that you do have to provide for peacocks if you have them in the aviary, is that they do need to be provided with um, alfalfa, a higher protein um, food, stuff like that. Uh, it's really not too difficult for us because they free range. And then for these two, I feed them a lot of insects and scratch grains. And then to answer his second question, that also um, brings in Kyle Lee Chad's question, which is, I've always stayed away from peafowl because I heard they cannot be free range since they are a type of pheasant. Uh, what are your experiences free ranging peafowl? So about keeping them um, without them running off is that if you are providing their food, they're gonna keep coming back. And if you have places where they can nest and roost and things like that, they're gonna stay there. But they also do um, need to, to be able to uh, go out and walk around on a lot of space. So you do need a lot of space in order to free range peacocks. And if that's not something that you can do, then an aviary is better. Now, uh, let's go find Indigo since he completely abandoned me during this entire video. And thank you, Gemini, for actually staying. Indigo. Indigo, come here. What have you been doing? Indigo. Indigo. There you are. Here. There you are. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you can see more videos about peacocks.